Rumors about Sea Carrier breaking through in lithography have been swirling online lately, especially after its debut at the Simicon China Expo in Shanghai in late March 2025, thrusting this obscure company into the spotlight. Some claim with absolute certainty that Sea Carrier showcased dozens of semiconductor tools, with even foreign media acknowledging it as the key to cracking 5 nanometers chips. Posts online proclaim that the chapter on lithography has finally turned, as if China overnight shook off ASML's monopoly and claimed the semiconductor throne. This excitement has spread like wildfire across X and Jihu, with patriotic fervor hitting fever pitch, practically ready to declare Chinese chips invincible. But let's be real. Those hot-headed words are better taken with a grain of salt, not as gospel. The truth is, Sea Carrier did unveil 31 pieces of equipment at the expo, covering etching, deposition, and lithography processes, securing some orders, and making a decent splash. A closer look, however, reveals no complete lithography machine in sight, let alone anything tied to a 5 nanometers breakthrough or homegrown EUV. The official showcase pegged its lithography tech at 28 nanometers with a solid suite of supporting tools that can aid parts of the 5 nanometers chip production chain. Yet the core litho system remained conspicuously absent. Online chatter about a 5 nanometers breakthrough likely conflates Sea Carrier's ancillary capabilities with an actual lithography machine, inflating it into a tale of domestic EUV glory. That's not a leap forward. It's wishful thinking. Patriotism is fine. But spinning yarns isn't the way to go. Still, Sea Carrier isn't entirely empty handed. Public patent records show it co filed with Huawei for a self aligned quadruple patterning technique, a method that boosts resolution using DUV lithography through fourfold exposure. This isn't new. Taiwan's TSMC leaned on it years ago, squeezing 193 nanometers DUV down to 7 nanometers, even 5 nanometers levels. If Sea Carrier has this nailed down, it suggests they can produce DUV gear for 7 nanometers processes, with 5 nanometers not out of reach. Considering SMIC already churns out 7 nanometers using a similar playbook. As for the buzz about Huawei mass producing 5 nanometers chips by Q3 this year, that could well hinge on this souped up DUV approach. Autonomous EUV, though, that's a stretch. The patents don't even hint at it. Digging into Sea Carrier's roots tells a juicier story. Founded in 2021, based in Shenzhen, it's backed by the Shenzhen Major Industry Investment Group, a clear state owned stamp. The real kicker is its origins, reportedly tied to Huawei's chip tech division. After the US sanctions hit, Huawei was in a bind, offloading Honor phones in 2020 as a survival move then later handing over parts of its chip business to Shenzhen State Capital for free, birthing Sea Carrier in the process. Huawei aimed to slim down and safeguard its 5G base stations and telecom gear, shedding peripheral assets. Shenzhen State players, though, saw a bigger game. One of China's richest and most open cities, Shenzhen boasts sky-high government efficiency, wielding tech giants like Huawei, Tencent, BYD, and DJI for talent and know-how, making it a perfect sandbox for chip ambitions. Cash isn't an issue. The tech foundation's there. And even the officials' career prospects ride on this. Nailing the chip industry means tax boosts, industry clusters, and a golden political ticket for the leadership, much like Taiwan's government propped up TSMC. On the national front, Beijing's pushing SMIC in Shanghai to storm chip manufacturing, while lithography R&D pops up in Beijing, Shanghai, and Wuhan. Universities and research labs nationwide are grinding away, from theory to materials. Sea Carrier, rooted in Shenzhen with Huawei and city backing, might outpace SMIC in the long run. It's inherited Huawei's cutthroat culture too, with brutal overtime hours. Job seekers on Jihu grumble about chaotic interviews and relentless schedules, but isn't that just the chip game's DNA? 
if Shenzhen and Huawei can crank out another 5 nanometers line. It's a massive win for national security. EUV, though, remains a pipe dream for sea carrier in the near term. When it comes to EUV, China's tech path hits a snag. Public data pegs the homegrown 193 nanometers light source to LDP, laser-induced discharge plasma, not the LPP, laser-produced plasma, that ASML uses. LDP can theoretically spit out 13.5 nanometers extreme ultraviolet light, but it's less efficient and way trickier, jacking up production line complexity. Even with steady progress, China's nowhere near mass production, certainly not by Q3 this year. Sea Carrier's lithography tech is likely a hacked together version of ASML's DUV, tweaked to hit 5 nanometers equivalents via quadruple patterning. SMIC pulls the same stunt, just with legit ASML gear. Sea Carrier probably doesn't fully build DUV from scratch either. It's more a symbol of China stockpiling enough DUV machines and critical parts to mod them up. Rolling out other tools in a big show while keeping the litho piece under wraps screams one thing. Too much infringement baggage to flaunt. With the US trashing the rulebook, China's got no choice but to go rogue too. It fits the copycat nation vibe. Just a shame the resolve kicked in late. Back when China manufacturing 2025 was all the rage. Folks got cocky, thinking they could slide into the Western tech club for mutual gain. Turns out the US doesn't play nice. Sticking to rules when it suits them. Flipping the table when it doesn't. Sanctions piling up like clockwork. China paid a steep price for that naivety. Only waking up when the chokehold tightened. Realizing it's not time to ditch the knockoff game yet. Clinging to pride just means more pain. The silver lining? China's caught on. Corner overtaking is hot air. Engineering replication is the real ace. Snag ASML gear for copying. Smuggle parts and raw materials. Hoard enough to chew through slowly. Mod foreign stuff into 5 nanometers chips. Slap a made-in-China label on it to crack the availability hurdle. Close the performance gap with advanced nodes. And tinker with lithography until a real domestic break comes. The world, led by the US, has already plunged into a jungle society. The old days of honoring IP and orderly competition are dust in the wind. Sea Carrier's product drop doubles as a shot across the bow to ASML and other foreign suppliers. Don't cut us off. And a pat on the back to folks at home. No need to fret. We've got this. It's a gray area path. Hardly noble. But white cat. Black cat. Catching the mouse is what counts. The U.S. printing dollars and locking down tech started the dirty game. China's smuggling and cloning just follow suit. Neither side's got room to point fingers. The good times are gone for good. Everyone's got a brace for jungle rules. Those still dreaming, like Europe's bunch, are in for a rough ride. The bar at Empire's sharper. Their generic drug racket runs on the same logic. Patents be damned. Survival trumps all. Europe stuck playing pure. Macron preaching strategic autonomy. Von der Leyen fussing over democracy. And for what? Tariffs hit. China snags their markets. The US chokes their tech. Leaving them sandwiched and clueless. India gets it. No saints thrive in the wild. Only hunters and prey. Sea carriers rise isn't about China cracking EUV. It's about China going all in. Legal or not. To nail chips. 5 nanometers equivalents or bust. Self-sufficient production in sight. Shrinking the tech gap. Who cares if it's messy? Hard fists rule the day.